What's up, coach? How's it going? Um, yeah. All right, so we've got a little bit of practice now. How's the team looking at the start of the season? Yeah, I'm excited. We've worked really hard in the off season, uh, just like all the teams across the country. You go through little bumps and bruises, and we've had our fair share of that. But right now, we're healthy outside of Rapalus. Uh, everybody's out there doing well. And you just get to a point in time now where you have to start playing. To, to really see where you're at, you have to start playing against other people because we've been practicing against each other now for a month and everybody knows all the plays and it's just hard to get a gauge on exactly where you're at and what your weaknesses are. So I'm looking forward to these next few weeks, uh, you know, playing against some other people and seeing where we're at. As far as like the starting line of the main contributors go, I know you said a couple weeks ago that like um, Brian would definitely be out there and probably Derek too. Yeah. Is there anyone else that you've seen now step in practice that you think would be? In there? I think it's a fluid situation, really. I mean, uh, and that's not to demean any of the guys. I just think we have a lot of good players that can that can help us. Um, you know, I mentioned those guys in the past, but you know, obviously Vic Law, Scotty Lindsay are going to be huge contributors. Aaron Falzone, Gavin Skelly. Um, you know, those guys to me probably a combination of those guys uh, will make up the starting lineup. I just got Sanjay, sorry I didn't mention him. But if you throw those guys, I think probably some combination of three of those guys are gonna start. And for me, the challenge is it's not always about who starts the game, it's about what's best for the team. You know, you might have one of your better guys coming off the bench because you like their scoring punch or you like the energy they bring. So, um, you know, for instance, a kid like Isaiah Brown, I mean, he's a, a really talented player. Uh, his energy coming off, I, I want to bring him off the bench because I just think you bring a guy in who can score and is, is electric and quick and can make plays. I think that can be a, an added thing for a team. Um, do you think you guys have, I mean, just me looking at your roster from this year to last year, it looks like you guys have more versatility and athleticism. And it is different than players you've had in the past, players that you haven't necessarily recruited. So now having all your guys kind of mm -hmm. and having like, is that kind of your style of basketball? More style of athletic? Yeah, I mean, I think I, I like the way the game's going in terms of skill. You know, I think you're seeing it on all levels, NBA trickling down through college, high school. It's uh, it's going to more of a skill game, positionless basketball, yeah. you know, um, you know, I, I think we can throw guys out there that if you said, like, are they a two, a three, a four, they're just basketball players. And it allows you to put guys in different spots. You can maybe switch some things defensively, um, uh, put guy, invert your offense a little bit. If you see matchups, you can exploit. And so that was a goal of ours in recruiting. If we could get the guys with size that have skill and athleticism, can handle, can shoot, uh, things like that, I, I think it helps you become more dangerous and better. And what kind of edge does that give you? You can switch a line of well, I just think it gives you, makes you more unpredictable. You know, I think we've been a good team the last couple of years, but we were a little bit predictable. You know, we, you had McIntosh, Dempsola, you know, and then you had a bunch of guys trying to find their way. And on different, different nights, we'd had different, different contributors. But it was really those three guys. And, <coughs> excuse me, and for now, <coughs> sorry about that. It's cold season, but now, you know, I think like on a different night, I really think we can have five, six guys that on a given night could score 18 to 20 points in a game. That makes it hard for teams to really lock in and prepare for, for different guys. And then how do you balance that unpredictability with still having an identity as a team? Like what do you want your yeah. identity to really be? Well, our, our identity has got to be our, our togetherness, our toughness, our cohesiveness. You know, we have to be a sum of our parts. You know, we, we're not an individual-based team. You know, we're a team, we've got to run our offense well, we've got to move, we've got to share it. You know, we were one of the best, last year we, we let one of the nation's leaders in assists per game. I mean, that's, we're a function of getting guys open, getting guys shots, moving the ball, uh, not standing around and watching one or two guys play one-on-one. -on -one. So uh, that's got to be our identity. It's got to be, uh, you know, being a, a sum of our parts, you know, having different guys, our depth. And I'd like to have a, a, a mindset of toughness. You know, I mean, we have more experienced guys that have been out there. We, we need to be a gritty, tough team if we're going to win, especially the guys we're going to play against. And then a, a word that's probably going to be tossed around a lot is small ball. Um, yeah. Just not having so much depth at the yeah. guy, especially losing Alex, too. Yeah. What is your take? Like a small ball game? Do you think you're going to go to that a lot? Uh, I don't know a lot. I mean, that'll, that'll, that'll kind of, we can have it in, in our arsenal. I mean, Gavin can play that and has played that in his career. You know, you can go to Gavin at the five and, and, and go to some wings and, and kind of be a little bit more spread the floor type of game. Um, I think it's nice to have. I'd like for Barrett and Derek to kind of man that position most of the time and, and uh, be a tag team and kind of be a two-headed 
Monster at center. I think they're both really good players. It's our youngest position, though. You know, so there's going to be some ups and downs. You got a sophomore and a freshman, and certainly with foul trouble and things of that nature, there's going to there's going to be times when we're going to have to slide Gavin down there and maybe play a little bit smaller lineup and try to be effective like that. Do you think that's going to be effective in the Big Ten against teams that are big and tough? Like yeah, we'll see. I mean, Indiana won our league with Max Bielfeld at center. You know, and he's six six. So you know, it's uh, you know, it's it's they played that lineup a lot last year. So Brian too. yeah, but if you watch them, they had Bielfeld. So we have Barrett and, and Derek, but they played half the game with Bielfeld at center at 6'6". So, yeah, I mean, if you have the right personnel and guys are tough and you can spread the floor and have playmakers and shot makers, I think, I think you can be successful with different lineups. You feel it overall? Yeah, I, I feel good. You know, we're making strides. It's early, so I'm excited to see us play against somebody else, just see where we, we stand and then, you know, just, just get the ball rolling. It's, it's been a long month. I think we're all excited to play somebody different. I was talking to a coach about just like the versatility of the team this year, um, but also at the same time maintaining an identity. Like, what do you think the team's identity is going to be this year? Yeah, I think the identity is going to be the same as always. We're going to execute. Uh, we're going to share the ball, and then defensively, we're going to have to make teams work. Uh, kind of keep them, you know, uneasy with the things we're going to do defensively, and then. You know, we're just going to have to be tough-minded and, and finish plays with rebounds and everything. So I don't think our identity changed. I think our versatility helps us actually expose our identity even more. Um, and obviously known for assists and dropping dimes. Um, <laughs> how are you going to look to maybe score more or take more of an initiative this year? Yeah, I just have to be aggressive and take what the defense gives me. Uh, you can't force things, but... I've worked on my game to where I can take advantage of certain opportunities that I didn't last year, and so that'll be the key for me this year. Also a tougher non-conference schedule this year than last year. Um, how do you think that's going to affect the team? I think it's going to be a great test for us uh, to get an early measuring stick to see where we are, and it should prepare us for conference play really well. And if we can handle business early, then we can put us at, ourselves in a great position. Obviously, Vic Law coming back is going to help Derek Harden growth from next year. Are there any certain players that you think really need to step up or have been stepping up already that you've seen? Yeah, I think the guys that we need and have been stepping up is Vic and Scott, uh, especially with replacing Trey. He was such a dynamic scorer in the, in the backcourt with me. So those two stepping up, and then we need our young guys to, to be ready to play and to contribute. So, And then also losing Alex. Yeah. Pick and roll was huge last year. Yeah. How was that developing this year with Derek and Barrett? Yeah, I mean, t Alex and I had a tremendous two-man game, and we were certainly dynamic in that. And now it's just teaching these guys the, the positionings and uh, when to roll, when to kind of pop for a little 15-foot jumper. So it's learning, and they're doing a they're doing a good job. So they'll they'll handle it. They'll pick it up. It's we've done a good job trying to help them out and kind of show them the, the ropes a little bit of what what needs to be done there. And then also the versatility we mentioned. What does that give to the team? Well, we have a lot more athleticism and length, and that's a lot different. When we played two six three guards, we were kind of small. Well, now we can throw in Scott and Vic, and we have two six seven guys that are long and athletic. So that'll that'll be a little dynamic that you know teams haven't seen us.